go, we're doing this really quick. Uh, my name's Hayden, I'm doing the news portion of today. Um, my news, uh, one, I'm really excited. Telltale's um, The Walking Dead game uh, is in season two right now, and episode two uh, was released today on Xbox 360, and yesterday it was released on PlayStation 4. I bought myself the season pass so I can get all the episodes taken care of. Just do it, it's like 15 bucks, and it's a freaking awesome game, so buy that. But I'm super stoked. I hate that you have to wait so long for the next episodes, though, because it leaves it on such a cliffhanger. Anyway, that's besides the point. So that's coming out, or that is out, I meant. I thought was really hilarious, so I, I, I'd like to share. Uh, some dude in Texas had an argument with his girlfriend, and then she called her, like, few, or her, like, ex-husband over or something, and there was a huge domestic dispute, and the ex-husband was stabbed with a master sword. <laughs> They're not just replicas, like they are real swords and they have now hurt somebody. And if I was that guy that stabbed the guy with the master sword, I'd feel like I'd feel bad for a second, then I'd be like, no, you know what? I stabbed someone with a master sword. That's all I, I'm not gonna say that's in my bucket list because I'm not a murderer. But if I could stab someone with a master sword and get away with it, I probably would. So watch your back. Also, coming out tomorrow actually it's going to be on sale is south park stick of truth um i've seen pewdiepie play some gameplay on that it looks pretty funny i'll probably buy it i don't know i haven't really read much about it but i know it's super hyped up right now and it's a south park game and it's an rpg and it should be cool so yeah okay Hello everyone, I'm King Arthur, and today I'm going to review 47 Ronin. You probably didn't see it. That's okay. I just took it out and put it back. Carl Rinch. 47 Ronin was directed by Carl Rinch. It's his first movie, and uh, let's start with the good. First of all, I really love the visuals. Um, it had some really good action, some really cool features and mythology. Um, but the one thing about it that was kind of weird for me is, is I'm not very familiar with like Japanese lore and that sort of stuff. So it's kind of hard to say, is this all made up? Is this like, how much of this is kind of culturally significant to something I really know nothing about? Um, you know, that being said, if you're really into like Japanese culture and like, you know, legends and myth and stuff, then you probably would appreciate it more than me. Um, ignorant little me who just really likes action. Um, now, um, the bad news, I know what you're thinking, Keanu Reeves is white, and he is, but it makes sense for the story, believe it or not. You know what, I'm gonna ruin it because you're probably not gonna see it, but after I ruin it, you should see it because you'll realize, oh, the movie's not dumb after all. Keanu Reeves is white because he's a half white, uh, half American, half Japanese bred young boy. Okay, so, this movie is really about racism. Keanu Reeves, he's white, but he is a half-breed. He's half Japanese, half white. You know, some sailor comes along and meets a fine Japanese lady, and then bam, Keanu Reeves. Um, <laughs> and he was raised in a forest full of demons. There's a forest where people leave uh, unwanted children and old people to die. No joke, it's inhabited by demons. Keanu Reeves gets left there as a child, gets grown up, raised by demons, and then he kind of goes into the Japanese society and no one likes him, even though he could do some pretty sweet stuff because he was raised by demons. But here's the part that I didn't like. He's got like demon powers that he never uses some reason like he's against using them because they're demon powers even though he'd be using them for well revenge I guess revenge is um, anyway it's a movie about revenge it's got some cool Japanese fighting it's about a bunch of samurai who get disowned by the Emperor and become Ronin and their tale of revenge um, it, you know, it's worth seeing. I mean, I waited till it was in the dollar theaters, and uh, it's definitely worth seeing. I wouldn't buy it, but it's worth seeing. You should see it. And just in case that wasn't very clear, go see it. You know, rent it, is what I mean. Because it's probably not in the theaters for very much longer. Hello, I'm Marty McFly, and I'm coming at you quick. Coming at you real quick, with a review, a game review. This game review is going to be Swapper. It's pretty awesome. You like space? I knew you said yes when I said that right now. Thank you for responding. 
Swapper is a cool move, cool little game. It uh, basically takes place, you're in a ship, you're flying around, all of a sudden you crash land, and you gotta figure out what the heck you, where you are. And it's pretty awesome. Um, uh, but it, what's, it's a side-scroller. Uh, but what's cool about this indie game is that um, you, you eventually gain this uh, gun called, uh, it's like a cloning gun. And what it does is, is it clones yourself to like other locations. So you have, you go to different rooms in like this spaceship that's crashed, or maybe it's like more of a space station uh, that's crashed. I don't want to give too much away. And uh, basically you have to open doors and, and solve certain puzzles, but how you do it is you duplicate yourself and copy yourself and then uh, when you move, your clone moves with you, so you have to like time it out, and it's a really, really cool game mechanic. Uh, I definitely recommend it. In fact, it's uh, on the Humble Bundle right now, but it's almost out, almost done. So if you get it, you can get tons of bunch, a bunch of different games as well for super cheap. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend you check out this game, uh, Swapper. Check it out. What's up guys, it's Mago. Today I'm reviewing kind of a hipster film. It's Blue Jasmine, which got Kate Blanchett Best Actress at the Oscars on Sunday. I will be reviewing the Oscars um, on the Thursday video, so uh, stay tuned for that. But in any case, um, this movie I didn't hear a lot about um, prior to its nomination. Um, so that's why I decided to call it a hipster movie, because a lot of people I know hadn't seen it. Um, so basically, um, Kate Blanchett plays a woman named Jasmine, or Jasmine, because her name changes frequently throughout the movie, which is why I couldn't remember before I started to do this. They also call her, I think, like, Jeanette, and like, I don't know, she is a very, very troubled woman who just got divorced from her husband, who is now deceased, and there was a lot of affairs, and she's just not in her right state of mind. She's actually, like, the epitome of mental instability. And it's really like crazy watching her transform from like a really prim and proper like socialite of a woman and then she just completely breaks down, she talks to herself in the street, it's crazy. Um, but she decided to have a new life for herself which really meant she wanted to have people think that she is somebody else in a new place so that she could find another rich husband so that she feels more at home um, in wealth. And um, it was a really crazy movie. Sally Hawkins um, was nominated for Best Supporting Actress, who played her sister. Um, and Jasmine moves into her sister's house, completely imposing on her space, and tries to um, get her to leave another man. And she's projecting all of her um, problems on her sister. And there's all just, you just have to watch it. I think the acting in this movie is absolutely phenomenal. And this movie I recommend so much. Um, so you're gonna have to see it. I don't want to tell you how it ends or what happens, but um, just just for her acting performance alone, I think it's worth it. Oh, and Alec Baldwin is in it. So yeah, it's like double worth it. And um, Louis C.K. is in it, which is also really cool and really random. I didn't expect like I, I don't know like it's just like a different part and I've never seen him play. I'm used to seeing him doing stand-up comedy. Um, but yeah, it's a really good movie and I definitely recommend it. And until next hipster corner, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, tell everybody that you know because we're awesome people and we love you. And stay tuned for the other videos that we have this week, every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Bye!